Hey everyone, today we are going to be making the much requested flip wallet. This is what your wallet is going to look like. And it can also fit in a wristlet if you are a girl, which is awesome. So this wallet is very small and compact, but can hold a lot of things. So let's get started with the supplies. The supplies you are going to need are, you are going to need one to two colors of duct tape. I'm going to be using three in this tutorial. Some clear tape, some non-stick scissors, which is optional, an X-Acto knife, a card to help you smooth out your clear tape, some ID plastic, and some Ziploc. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay guys, so what you're going to do first is make a sheet of duct tape that is seven inches long and five and one fourth inches tall. So now what we're going to do is take our clear tape and we're going to clear tape the seams on the wallet. In case you guys don't know how to clear tape, I will show you guys how to do that one time and then you guys can do the rest on your own so this video isn't super long. Also, this is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. So I'm just taking a piece of clear tape that is as long as our sheet of duct tape. Then I'm just going to cut a thin piece of duct tape. A piece about this wide. It doesn't really matter exactly, but this is how wide my strip is. And I'm just going to lay that down on the seam of the duct tape and smooth it out just a little bit. Now I'm just going to take a card and I'm just going to smooth out all the air bubbles that are in the clear tape. It doesn't really have to be perfect, but just try your best because as long as you try your best, everything's perfect, right? Okay, so now this part is clear taped, so you just want to clear tape the next seam. Okay, so once you have the seams clear taped, we're just going to flip our sheet sticky side up. Now I'm just taking one of my solid colors and I'm just going to start covering the sticky on the back. And then once you get to the top, you want to leave a fourth of an inch sticky at the top to fold over. Now you should have something like this, and we're going to fold over the sticky on the top. And now you can clear tape the seams on this side and the trim down so it won't peel up later on. Okay, so now your sheet of duct tape should look something like this, and we're going to start working on the coin pouch right now. So the first thing you need is a piece of Ziploc cut to four and one fourth inches long. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut a strip of duct tape that is the exact same length. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to cut out another piece. So we're going to start out with these two, but we're going to end up with four of these pieces in the end. So now I'm just going to take my tape and I'm going to set this right above the Ziploc. Just make sure to not put the tape on the Ziploc because then it won't shut. So then just smooth that down. Then you can flip it over and then just fold it over really slowly to make sure it's even at the top like this. And if there's any excess, you can just cut that off. It doesn't need to be perfect. And now we're going to take our other piece of duct tape and we're going to make a sheet that is three and one fourth inches tall. Just smooth that out like so. So now we just flip that over and in this part I just like to use clear tape because all your coins is going to go into the coin pouch and it can just get really sticky and gunky if you use duct tape so I just use clear tape to keep everything nice and clean. So I'm just going to clear tape this first part of the sheet. I'm not going to clear tape the whole thing because I'm going to use the sticky to kind of connect two of the panels together. So you should have this part clear taped now, and we're going to make a sheet just like this one. Okay guys, so now that we've done that, we're going to take our clear tape again. And I'm just setting the clear tape right in the middle of the coin pouch. So this will get rid of the sticky at the bottom of each panel, and it will attach these two together. So now I'm just cutting off the excess tape. 
So you should have something like this and you should be able to fold this up. And now I'm just snapping these into place. So now we're going to make the card pockets. You're going to need four horizontal card pockets and two vertical. So I will show you guys how to make one of those each. And you're also going to need two short pockets and I will show you how to make one of those. So to make a horizontal card pocket, you're going to need two strips of duct tape that is three and three fourths inches long. You can also use clear tape on the back of your card pockets, but I'm just going to be using duct tape for now. It's really all in what you want. So once you have those two pieces of tape, you're just going to stack them on top of each other. Just lay that right down on top of the other. And now you should have your first card pocket. And just in case you don't know how to put trim on your card pockets, I will show you how to do that as well. So just cut out a piece of your trim color that is the same length of your card pocket. So three and three fourths inches long. So I'm just cutting the piece of the duct tape that I need. And I'm taking my ruler and I'm just setting it at the one fourth mark. And then I'm just laying the duct tape above the ruler. And this is what your card pocket should look like. And if you have a little bit right here that shows, don't worry because when the wallet is put together, you won't see that. So now really quick, I'm going to clear tape this. Clear taping this is pretty simple. You just want to make sure that your clear tape is at the bottom of your trim. And that didn't make much sense actually. Um, what I meant by that is you want to make sure that your duct tape is kind of on the blue tape as well. So it's going to overlap the actual trim part to make sure that it's stuck down. And then you're just going to use your card to smooth out any of the air bubbles. And I'm just going to cut off the tape on the top but I'm leaving a good amount here because I want to be able to fold this onto the back so that way the trim won't peel up on the back either so just smooth that out and I'm just smoothing out the back just to make sure it's stuck down really well so you guys are going to need a total of four of these for the vertical card pockets you're going to need two strips of tape that are two and a half inches long. Now I don't know how other duct tapers do their vertical card pockets. I don't know what their measurements are, but this is just how I do it. So now we're going to take another piece, but we're just going to go ahead and form the card pocket while we're cutting out the piece. So what I mean by that is we're just going to lay this on top and it's going to be three inches long, or tall I mean, like so. And now we're going to flip that over and you can either clear tape the back or duct tape the back and I'm just going to duct tape it. So now you should have a piece of duct tape like this. Now what you might wanna do is clear tape the seams here and on the back because these can be pretty exposed so you want to just clear tape that seam and then we're just going to add trim like I showed you earlier and you're going to need two of these. Okay, so now we're going to take our colored tape and I'm just going to cut that to be three and three fourths. And this part might be a little bit tricky for me to show on camera, but I will try my very best. So I just line it up with the grid on my board and I will fold this down. So right now I'm just folding this down. It doesn't really matter what length it is. So I kind of just eyeball this part, but mine is about one and one fourths inches tall. And now I'm just going to take a scrap piece of clear tape and I'm just going to clear tape this part right here. I'm clear taping the seam of the colored tape, but I'm also clear taping the sticky on the back of it. So that is how I make the short pockets. I don't know if duct tapers make these like I do, but this is just my method of it. And you're going to need two of these. Okay guys, so all I've done here is I've taken all of my card pockets and I just put some clear tape at the bottom of them. Now we're going to take two of our horizontals and our coin pouch. And right now I'm just taking a scrap piece of tape that I have and I'm just using this to put on the very bottom of the coin pouch. This is just to hold it in place so it'll be easier to put our card pockets down. So I'm just arranging my card pockets the way I want them. So I'm just going to stick one card pocket down 
And then I'm just going to take this off because I can kind of use my first card pocket as a guide for where my second card pocket should go. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that down. And now we're going to take one of our short pockets and we're just going to put that on the very bottom and stick that down. Now we're going to cut little pieces of clear tape and we're just going to use those to clear tape the inside of the card pockets. So first I'm just going to clear tape the short pocket. And then the second card pocket. And then I'm just going to clear tape the inside of the first card pocket. Like so. Then you can just kind of fold these up and what I like to do is just take a scrap piece of duct tape and I'm just going to arrange these a little bit better and use that scrap piece to hold these in place. So now I'm just flipping that over and we're going to do the same thing with this side. So right now I just took a piece of our pattern and I just cut out a piece of tape that is about three and three fourths inches long. It's actually a little bit shorter than that. And I'm just going to cut that in half. And now what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna use this to seal up the sides real fast, making sure they're sticky at the top and you will see why in a moment. So now I'm just gonna fold this part over like so, it's just sealing up the card pockets for us. And you guys can see there's a little bit of sticky at the top. You're going to open up your coin pouch, and this is where the non-stick scissors come in handy. I'm just going to cut this down a little bit, and I'm just going to fold this access right into the coin pouch. This will give it a smooth edge, and now you're just going to do the same thing to this side here. So now you should have something like this, and you can remove your little pieces of duct tape. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pattern once again, and we're going to seal up the bottom, and this is also going to be how we attach it to our wallet. So now I'm just going to take this tape, and I'm just going to seal up the bottom of the card pockets, like so. And you just want to cut this in half. And I'm just going to cut my tape that it's about right here. So the tape that is off the coin pouch is about two-fourths. So I'm just going to cut my tape right here, it's pretty much in the middle. And I'm just placing my coin pouch right in the middle of our little piece that we made earlier. So I placed it about, about three inches from the wallet. So now we're just going to flip this around and we're going to take that other piece that we had and we're going to place that right here, like so. And now your coin pouch should be attached to your wallet. So I'm just going to take our vertical card pockets and start placing them where I want them to be. Doesn't really matter where they are, just as long as you like where they are. So I really like the way they look just like this. So now I'm going to cut out two pieces of clear tape that are the length of our vertical card pockets to seal up the sticky. So just take those pieces of clear tape and set them right down here, like we did with the other card pockets. So now that I sealed up the sticky in the card pockets, I took a piece of scrap tape just to hold these down in place. So now we can flip it over here. So now I just have my ID here, and I just put a little trim on it, and I'm about to clear tape it now. It doesn't really matter what your measurements are for your ID, just as long as it fits your card and you like it. However, mine is two and one fourth inches long and three and a half inches tall. So if you want to make yours the same measurements as mine, that's what my measurements are. So now what I did is I took a piece of my blue tape that is the same length as my ID. And I'm just going to lay this right here flat on my wallet. So I'm just going to lay this where I want my ID to be. So about here would probably be good. Just like this. And then this would be where my ID would go later on. But now we're going to start working on the outside of our wallet. So we're almost done. Okay, so now I just cut out a few strips of tape.
the same exact measurements of our original panel. Five inches tall and seven inch is long. So now what we're going to do is flip this over and I did clear tape the seams if you guys want to do that. So now what we're going to do is take our pattern and what I'm going to do is make sure that there is an inch sticky on both sides but on the bottom I'm just going to do it how I normally do it which would be half an inch. Okay, so now you guys should have a sheet like this. You guys can go ahead and clear tape the seams now. I'm going to do it later once the wallet is assembled, but it is easier to clear tape it now, so I would suggest doing that. But I'm just going to peel this up once again. And I know this is a lot of sticky here, but I just like to do this because there's a lot of space where our ID and everything will be, so I like to have enough sticky to be able to fold over onto the ID and to seal up the card pockets. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut slits at the top of these sticky parts right here. And it's just going to be one slit. That's all you want to do. You don't want to cut boxes. So now you're going to cut down your trim to your desired length. And in order to do that, I will show you guys what I do. I just take my ruler and just kind of eyeball it. And I just cut into the tape that we made the slits on. Don't cut the sides of the tape. So when you pull it away you should have something that looks like this. And then you're just going to fold down that particular part. Now I'm just going to take a scrap piece of clear tape that I had and I'm just going to clear tape the trim down. And now we're going to cut boxes in the corners down here. So now we want to bring back our other panel. And I just took a piece of scrap tape that I had and placed it on the bottom of the ID. And we're just going to place it right here like so. And then you can clear tape the sticky in the ID. And we're going to take our panel over here. And we're just going to place that right into the wallet. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here at the sticky where the coin pouch starts and fold that over. Then I'm going to flip this part over and fold over the rest to seal up the card pockets, like so. Then you can unfold this and clear tape the inside of the billfold. You can also use duct tape for this part if you don't have clear tape. It's completely optional. So now we can fold this part back up and now we're going to work on trimming down our sides so that they're a good length for our card pockets. So this side is going to need trimmed just a little bit. I like to have some extra tape to work with so that way it's better to have way too much than not enough because if you don't have enough then you have to make a whole new panel over again. So I'm just going to cut that off like so and now I can just fold this part over. like this. So now this side is sealed up and this side's just going to need to be trimmed down only a little tiny bit. I'm not going to give a specific measurement for this part because it's really just me eyeballing it and seeing what works. So I'm just going to fold this part over like so. And now you should be left with these little sticky tabs at the top again. So you want to trim these down with our scissors. So I'm just going to trim that down like so and then I'm just tucking that in. That'll just give us a nice rounded edge again. And now I'm just doing it with this side. And now our wallet is almost complete. We're just going to need to seal this side of the ID and this side of the card pockets. And this will also help give us a little bit of extra durability on the coin pouch to make sure that it's really stuck down because if there's one layer of tape, it can peel off pretty easily after some time. Cut another piece of duct tape now and we will be done. So now I've just cut out a piece of duct tape that is four and three fourths inches long. And I'm just going to cut that in half. Okay, so I'm just going to peel up one of those pieces and we're going to take our wallet and I'm just going to place it down like so. 
And then I left a little bit of sticky at the top so you can just fold that in and clear tape that down some more later. Now we're going to take our other piece and do the exact same thing. And this is kind of, like I said, it's kind of reinforcing the coin pouch as you do this. Just folding in that tab one last time. And then you might have this where there's a little bit of sticky that's kind of folded over. So we're going to fold this back over and take our X-Acto knife and cut a slit right there. And it'll make it easily accessible again. And there we have it guys. All you need to do is cut slits in your card pockets so you can slide your cards in more easily. And we have our flip wallet made. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.